Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today we will learn about ultrasound findings of renal cell carcinoma. Renal cell carcinoma is the most common malignant tumor of the kidney in adults and ultrasound is often used as a first-line imaging modality. While ultrasound is less specific than CT or MRI for characterizing renal masses, it can still provide valuable diagnostic clues. Ultrasound has limitations in evaluating renal cell carcinoma as it cannot reliably stage the tumor, may not distinguish benign from malignant lesions, can miss small or isoechoic masses, and is highly operator dependent. We will compare the normal ultrasound appearance of a kidney with a kidney having a mass. Renal cell carcinoma cannot be confirmed on ultrasound, but it is a good first-line modality for deciding whether a CT scan is needed or not. On the left is the image of a kidney in the longitudinal plane. This is the left kidney, so we have a part of the spleen next to it. This outer hypoechoic layer is the cortex. The inner region, which is even more hypoechoic than the cortex, is the medulla. The central hypoechoic region is the renal sinus. It contains fat, so it appears bright. These are the main parts of the kidney seen in this view. In the image on the right, we see a mass inside the kidney. It is a solid mass because it does not have posterior acoustic enhancement. It is also not a calcified mass because there is no posterior acoustic shadowing. The mass appears somewhat heterogeneous and isoechoic to the kidney. It has almost similar echogenicity to the renal cortex. RCCs have variable appearances, so the renal mass can be either hypoechoic, isoechoic, or even hyperechoic. Many masses contain heterogeneous areas which indicate internal hemorrhage, necrosis, or cystic degeneration. The concerning features which indicate a malignant mass are renal contour deformity, irregular margins of the mass, and significant internal vascularity seen on color Doppler. This mass has deformed the renal sinus. The renal sinus is disrupted. It even protrudes outwards at this point. It has irregular and ill-defined margins. A mass with smooth round borders is often benign, but when it has irregular borders, it may be a malignant mass and requires further evaluation. It is not shown here, but this mass will show internal vascularity on color Doppler. It was later confirmed to be renal cell carcinoma through a biopsy. This is an image of a normal right kidney in the longitudinal plane. The liver is seen next to the kidney. In the image on the right, a hyperechoic mass is present. This appearance can mimic benign tumors such as angiomyolipomas, which occur in the kidney. Features such as irregular margins do indicate a malignant lesion, so it is better to evaluate further with a CT scan. Here is another case showing heterogeneous mass in the lower pole of the left kidney. It also has irregular and ill-defined margins. Ill-defined margin means we cannot clearly tell where the border of the mass is. We cannot clearly see the border. This mass was later confirmed to be renal cell carcinoma. This mass is quite large. It has heterogeneous areas and irregular margins. These irregular margins are concerning. A malignant mass will show prominent internal vascularity on color Doppler. This is the mass in the lower pole of the kidney. It has disrupted the renal sinus and has also grown outwards, has an irregular shape and margins, 
and we can see color Doppler signals inside the mass. This suggests prominent internal vascularity, which is a feature concerning for a malignant mass such as a renal cell carcinoma. A benign mass and an abscess would not show internal vascularity on color Doppler. So this is a distinguishing feature. Here is another renal mass with strong internal vascularity seen on color Doppler. This is the kidney. The renal sinus is over here. It is disrupted by the mass. Color Doppler signals are present within the mass. This was later diagnosed as renal cell carcinoma. RCC also has a cystic type. It can appear as an anechoic cystic mass with internal structures such as internal echoes and mural nodules. A mural nodule is a small solid mass that grows within the wall of this cystic structure. A nodule can be a sign of a malignant mass. The irregular wall or shape can also be a sign of a malignant mass. Here is a case showing a large multilocular cystic renal mass. A locule refers to a compartment or a cavity divided by septations or walls. Multilocular refers to multiple compartments, so this mass is a multilocular cystic mass. It contains thick walls or septations. It contains internal echoes, medium level echoes, and it also has solid components. These are the solid components, slightly hyperechoic than the internal echoes. Small mural nodules can also be seen. This mass will also show strong internal vascularity within the walls or the nodules on color Doppler, which indicates that it is a malignant mass. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more imaging videos.